G'day all, Wayne here, Wombat Models. Welcome back. Today I'd just like to run you through a couple of little purchases that I made recently, just some tools and accessories. And first up we have some purchases I made from Icky Sticky. So we have the 40mm masking tape. So the masking tape from Icky Sticky uh, comes in 80 meter roll, 40 mil wide. Uh, it's made from flexible washi rice paper tape. Uh, it's see-through for accurate alignment. And I'll be adding that to my icky sticky tape dispenser. Uh, as you can see there, I've got it stored upside down. Uh, it was a suggestion from uh, Bill Dratt just to stop a little bit of dust getting in. So I'll just whack my roll in there. So excuse the arm. And there we go. So that's the masking tape. Also picked up a bottle of their rubber toughened CA. So it comes in a 20 gram bottle. So it's black rubber toughened, medium viscosity, gap filling, uh, works on rubber, steel, carbon fiber, polycarbonate, neoprene, metal, phenolic, glass, and aluminium. Uh, it's resistance to peel and shock loads. And you can accelerate the cure speed using the uh, icky sticky CA activator. So can't wait to try that out on some of my upcoming builds. And I also picked up a set of the Icky Sticky sanding sponges. So it comes in three packs. Uh, each pack has three sheets in it. Uh, the sheets are 114 by 140 millimeter by five mil thick. So they come in three sets of grit. So the first set has 180, 240 and 320 grit. Second set, 400, 600 and 1000 grit. And then the third set, 1500, 2000 and 3000 grit. Now all of the sanding sponges can be used on plastic, resin and wood. They can be used wet or dry and they are flexible and you can cut them down to size. So again, looking forward to giving them a try out. Also picked up Icky Sticky Wet and Dry Sandpaper Kit. So nine sheets, 137mm by 112mm and you get nine different grits. So in there you have 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 10,000, 12,000 and 15,000 grit. Again, wet and dry sandpaper there. Uh, so it's silicon carbide abrasive with a latex backing. Uh, strong, flexible, waterproof for wet and dry applications and best used when wet. And as usual with Icky Sticky, if you place an order you get a few little goodies. So this time around I got a bag of lollies, so huge thanks there to Monique and the crew at Icky Sticky. Also got a new sticker, a shiny one down there that you can see. Picked up a couple of drinks coasters, so one in red, one in blue, so silicon. They'll take pride of place on the desk. And also receive a set of their micro brush applicators. So uh, these brushes can be used for touch-ups, cleaning airbrushes, weathering, detailing, special effects. They're non-linting, non-absorbent fibres, uh, bendable neck to reach difficult areas, and you get 100 brushes per pack, and it comes in four sizes. So you have the 1.2 millimeter, uh, which is the long, so you can see that there, the long tip. 1.2 mil, 2 mil, and 2.5 and mil. So again, as I said, they have flexible tips. So I don't know whether you can see that too well, but they do bend nicely. So they can reach into difficult areas. So again, a massive thanks to Monique and Icky Sticky. Uh, go to www.ickysticky.com.au to check out their range, join the mailing list and place an order. And the other thing I picked up was a Craftride 150mm digital caliper. Now I picked this up from uh, Bunnings, for those non-Australians out there, that's our local big box hardware store. So it comes in a nice little storage case. Uh, inside you have info sheet and instructions, screwdriver, which is used for opening up the battery compartment, and then you have the caliper itself. So it comes with, you have your on off switch, zero, have a switch up here to switch from millimetres to inch for metric imperial. Locking screw and then just your operating wheel. So again, 
very useful for just measuring stuff up. So like my little pointer here, or if you're measuring up some tape, so I'll just zero it, uh, sorry, plastic. There's some sheet plastic as an example. So that's 0.51 mil, 20 thou. So that's just a useful little addition for measuring some stuff. Probably a little bit better than just using uh, the old Mark 1 eyeball. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you want to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. See you later.